What's up everyone, it's Argosian here for my first ever RuneScape video. Today we are going to go over one of my favorite mid-level money makers in the game. You can do this free to play, but it is much, much more profitable to do it as a member. And I feel like a lot of members kind of forget about this place because once you get the membership there's just so much to explore. But it is definitely worth going back, you know, um, I'm currently level 80 range and I'm still loving this place. I'm making around 300 to 400 K an hour, which in my opinion is great money. And especially because this spot in particular, really you can't die unless you're not paying attention. Very safe spotable. And the bank is, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds of a run away. Really honestly guys, this spot is a uh, forgotten gold mine. But before we get started, I want to let you guys know I'm really excited to do this channel. I have a lot of new ideas, a lot of new hacks that have no videos up yet, so I really think it's going to help a lot of people out. And to start it all off, we're going to do a giveaway. One mil, all you got to do, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below and you're entered to win. In two weeks, I'm going to pick a winner, one mil. You know, it can't get any easier than that. All you got to do, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, add one more mil to that bank stack. All right, now to get the Corsair Cove, I'm going to use the Ami of Glory Draenor Village Teleport. Once you get there, start running west until you hit a stone wall. If you have the agility of 50, you can go through the shortcut. If not, run up here through the top entrance. I'm going to show you guys where to start the Corsair Cursed uh, quest. You're going to talk to a captain who's usually right over here. And once you talk to him, that gives you access to the Ogress Warriors and lets you travel on the ship here. That's going to actually take you to Corsair Cove. Talk to the cabin boy. All right. Now once you get here, get off the boat, go west, as you can see the bank's right over here, very very close to the cave entrance, honestly takes about 10 seconds to run over here, go down this hole right here, and you're there, that easy. Alright, now that we're down here, it's time to get to business. Um, usually my runs last anywhere from 30, 45 minutes with, uh, you know, making sure I high out all my rune armor drops. And uh, I don't really, really bury bones anymore. I kind of, I mean, my prayer level's nowhere where it should be, but I don't really <laughs> feel like working on it until I have a gilded altar. But uh, yeah, I mean, some of the drops down here, 24K for the Rune Battle Axe, um, 20K for the Full Helm, 12K for the Medium Helm. Um, they drop lots of Minthril arrows, Steel arrows, and like sometimes 30 at a time. My favorite thing is the Rune drops. I mean, the Rune drops here, they sometimes drop, you know, 14, 15 Nature's Runes, Law Runes, Chaos, Cosmic. I don't obviously pick up any of the low level runes, but um, I mean, if you're a lower level player and you need them, why not grab them? But uh, this is a really great place and I feel like it's kind of been forgotten about and I think that some medium level, uh, medium level members should come back and get a little bit of range or mage XP without having to worry about dying, you know, while you're watching your favorite show. So stay tuned till next time, guys. Like I said, this was my first video. Really hope you enjoyed and make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below for that one mil giveaway.